Welcome back to Fallout 4, everybody. I am your host, Monster Gods, and we're picking up kind of where we left off. Um, I don't think I've actually done anything since the last time I played. It's been a couple days since I've played, so I need to double check everything to make sure I got everything. I do, so we are good. Oh, we don't need to carry 18 purified waters, though. No, I think I'm carrying those because I didn't want to have purified water in the workstation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a little container here to store those in. Uh, the reason for that is if you have, um, what is it? I don't remember what it's under, decorations I think, yeah. Um, if you have, what the hell, where is it? No, I'm wrong. Furniture? There we go. If you have your purified water in your crafting station, if the mod that I was talking about before is not working where it allows me to have as many, uh, what's it called, resources as I want inside stations and it's not going to collect any more purified water, which I actually need it to. So we're going to go ahead and drop 15 of those because it's very heavy. So we're going to go ahead and start there. Perfect. Okay, so today we are going to look at the map here. Today we're going to head down kind of this way. Uh, the idea is that I'm going to try and get to the um, the railroad, which is, I believe, here-ish, give or take. But that's the general direction we're going to go. Uh, we're going to see if the mire looks are still over there. Nope, we got a pack of dogs now. We can we can definitely handle that. I'm going to grab the grenades, though, just because let's see if I can blow them all up, because that'd be fun. All right, we'll start here. Check the weapons, frag mine, frag grenade. Yeah, say a couple of those. That could be fun. All right, and we'll start there. So I want to welcome you all back. It's been, I don't know how long it's been since this video's been out. I've been playing very irregularly, so my apologies on that one. I don't really have a set schedule of when I do videos and stuff, so it's just kind of random. <laughs> yeah, I got all of them. That was awesome. Idiot savant proc on like most of those too. That was pretty sweet. So that was that was awesome. That might be the best grenade throw I've ever had. You got exactly where I wanted to, and I killed all of them. So perfect. Let's see how much did that level me up? <laughs> Basically not at all though. So. Yeah, so after a while, that's kind of one of the things that sucks, is after a while, kills mean pretty much nothing. And the only thing that really has a chance of leveling you up is quests, which is why I like to meet each of the factions, so that way I can do their like repeatable quests, because they actually give a pretty good chunk of XP. Um, oh yeah, so is this person looking for probably help with the mole rats, so we can go give them a hand. Got some mole rats attacking them over here. And we'll walk up so that way I'm not wasting my action point. Oh, they seem to kind of have this under control. Okay. Maybe they didn't need my help. Just swing just because I'm here. Is there a bird Let's trying to take the kill. Guess my good oh. karma's paying off. Jeez. It's over. For now. This person did not need my help at all. Oh. Alright, so this is getting all kind of crazy because more rats teleport around, which makes this incredibly difficult to just attack them. Alright. I'm not the best with melee in this game, that's for sure. Melee is one thing that I've definitely lacked on getting like practice at because I almost always go with some kind of either rifle or energy weapon build, so I don't use, usually use melee weapons all that often. I've been trying to do that more, but I feel like the melee in this game is kind of meh. So I never really focus on it. I've seen some people do really good, but I've never been good with it. Okay. So, got them. Should be. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and build up our critical modifier over here. Because we can store critical now, which is pretty awesome. Um, I mentioned that before, that was the last level up that we did, I think. 
to where we got it, to where we got the critical banker down here. Just in case you can't see that little star right here, which means that we have one critical saved, and then our meter, which is the normal critical, so we technically have two criticals whenever we need it. Um, let's see, anything useful in here? A bunch of random stuff. Some of it's not too bad. This is kind of a difficult area, actually, if you stumble upon this at low level, like level one, because they do hit decently hard if you're not wearing any armor. Excuse me. Thanks for the help. No problem. Um, they do hit pretty hard if you're not wearing armor. Like, I have a decent amount of ballistic armor on, so my armor towards, like, physical damage is... It's alright. It's not perfect, but... Yeah, what am I, actually, what am I up to? I should probably look at that. <clears throat> Yeah, so, yeah, it's not great, I guess, actually looking at this, I guess I'm not wearing that good of armor, but, I mean, I have it's two armor on the leg, three armor on the leg, so, it, do, it does help, because that's where the mole rats are mo most likely going to hit you, is the legs, so, it is damage reduction. I don't know, I should actually look up the conversion rate of that, the armor to, like, damage ratio, I, like, I don't actually know what the scaling is on it, like how much armor is actually really helpful. I'd imagine it has to be, like, lower levels has to be better. Like, the like small amounts of armor is probably helpful at early levels, because I know later on in the game, like, when you start getting some, like, crazy high amounts, it does almost nothing, actually. Because there's, um, like, diminishing returns on it, so, like, you can have, you know, 100 armor, but then if you have, like, 200 armor, that's barely better than 100 armor. <clears throat> and I think it has something to do with the way the game calculates damage output. Alright, so here's Covenant. We're not actually going to stop in in Covenant today. Ah, uh, you know what, I'll just do the, the little goat, qu goat quiz. If you guys played Fallout 3, it's the same quiz. And he's going to ask us to do the safe test. You here visiting quiz. Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Alright. I might take a look. It ain't that simple. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Yeah, see, so he's wearing, like, the, um, what's it called? The greaser jacket from the first game, too, so it's kind of funny. Um, I don't think I have any other charisma stuff on me. No, so my charisma's not that high, so... I don't think I have much chance of convincing him. Yeah, my charisma's only four. That's not going to cut it, probably. We'll try. Interesting idea. You know what? Don't worry. You want to take the test? Uh huh. Sure. I'll sure. Take test. Good. Take a seat, and we. Uh huh. All right. So yeah, so he's wearing the greaser jacket from number three as well. So if you guys played Fallout Three, which you should, I think it's actually a very, very good game. Um, this will so all let's seem begin. familiar. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I'd say up yours too, buddy. You'd say that? Hmm. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Hmm, amputation. Next question. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I'd pick the boy's pocket to take the stolen property for myself and leave him to his fate. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? I don't play baseball. I play soccer. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? Okay, I want to take a minute to like take a look at this guy that we're talking to. His body to head ratio is very off. He has a very tiny head for his body, and it's kind of bothering me. I do what Grandma told me to. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? All right. 
We will... well... Eh. I'd walk away and let him rot. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh, no. Abernathy huh. from Abernathy You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Um... Well, in all honesty, that'd be kind of useful. But... I guess... surgery? I'd cut off the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Technological bias. Hmm. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Uh, I'd probably actually just trade them. I'd trade them for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... These are all really bad things. Just looking at this, like I wouldn't want to deal with any of these. Change the wattage on the razor. Give him a shock the next time he uses it. Test is over. No one's ever... But yeah, so the answers to that are completely meaningless. Doesn't matter what you answer, you get in. And in all honesty, it, I think it's pointless. But it does kind of hint at what kind of Covenant might be. Um, it seems like Covenant might be... Welcome similar to Covenant. ...similar to a vault Tech Vault, where it's like an experiment almost. Uh, we're not going to go in, because like I said, that's not what we're doing today. But I recommend if it's your first time playing, definitely go through there. It's a pretty cool area. Um, there is, I think, a quest and stuff related to it, so it's it's worth going in and checking it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Just try it yourself. All right. So what I want to do today, my big thing is, I want to actually try and meet the railroad if we can. What the hell is that? This? Stingwing? I don't want to fight whatever a stingwing is. I don't, that's like... So basically it's like a blood bug thing, but stronger? Question mark? Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. That'll kill me. Uh, so we're in kind of a goofy situation. Of blood, fuck, a blood bug. Um, damn it, I forgot about this. So we might not actually have any luck doing this. We might actually have to like run there basically so basically you're not supposed to actually run into um, the railroad until much further into the game and I mean like much much further if you actually like take it kinda of seriously in terms of like speed it's probably one of the last like factions you actually meet other than the Institute they have a um... who's that? random settler no, don't go on the bridge! No! No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear the bugs. I hope they're not coming. Thanks for the help. It's the same person? Huh? Oh, fuck. This is gonna get us killed, isn't it? I think we can just get rid of, get rid of one of those That's Commonwealth justice for you. Oh, good. We were. So, blood bugs can be really tough. As I was saying though, we're going to take a quick save here because this bridge is loaded with mines and explosives. So if we don't get them all, it blows up and just blows everything to shit. So you want to make sure you don't miss any. It's very important. If this person is walking through, she's going to get us killed. So we need to beat her to it. Which is not something I enjoy trying to rush to do. This can be hard enough just doing it on your own, let alone having somebody walking through aimlessly. Okay, so she's almost dead too, so I'm actually just gonna I'm gonna let her walk forward. Um no, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go ahead of her. I wanna blow up this stuff on the bridge because actually I've gotten myself killed in like the past. Trying to do that stuff later on. So there's several blood bugs, which is a concern because they are pretty good at killing me. Uh, yep. So we're gonna go ahead and take a headshot critical on that one. Okay good. I did a decent amount of damage.
Let's see if we can... Nope. Okay, it's going to fly away. But there is a rad roach. Let's see if we can get the rad roach. Alright, we're just going to take the free pot shots and build up our critical modifier. Awesome. It's kind of cheeky, but I'll take it. All the bad guys, man. All the bad guys. Get out of the way, dog. I know there was another blood bug, so it kind of got me worried. Because I know there was one more. There was one that I shot over here. And I don't know where it went. That's exactly how the blood bugs get you in this game. They fly away, and then they attack you later when you're not paying attention. What the fuck is going on over there? Oh, this looks suspicious. I like how even the farmers I do like no damage to, so the farmers are like probably better than me over in this area. Um, so we're gonna hold off. Um, do we want to get involved in this here? We're gonna do a quick save here just in case. It's not a good idea. I'm assuming it's not a good idea. What? Run for it! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Man, I am on point with my grenades today. Just to let everyone know, I'm not normally this good with grenades, so this has been two very unexpected situations. <clears throat> Thanks, stranger. That's more than most would have done. Yeah, I did everything. Hey there. You saved our lives. I. Th Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad I can help. Man, that's crazy. I <laughs> never thought that that was going to work. Oh, that was great. Okay. Um, so we're going to take a peek here, see if there's any... I like the pre-war money. It's a good source of cloth for building beds and stuff in settlements. Um, part of the reason why I want to get to the um, railroad is that I want to start their mission so I know where their first... I, their safe house mission is. They, they send you to clear out a spot for a safe house and kind of depending where that is kind of determines when we'll do their storyline if it's somewhere oh, fuck yep we can't do that if it's somewhere relatively close and easy we can do their stuff soon but if it's like a far away area like down south we won't be able to do it for a while um, Shit, so I have a super mutant in one area and a raider psycho in the other, both of which I can't do much damage to because I don't have an actual sniper rifle or anything yet. Uh-oh, I think I was just spotted. Wait, who's calling for help? So he's ducking for cover, so must be something over here. Well, there's some feral ghouls, so that'd be... Oh, Super Mutant Seuss Headers, that's how that explosion was. That's kind of what I was assuming it was, but I didn't want to... Just assume and then be wrong. And Nothing. take advantage of the easy target and develop our critical modifier which is something you should get the hang of if you plan on doing criticals like me uh, criticals are extremely effective at getting rid of enemies but you also need to make sure that you're taking advantage of weaker and easy to hit enemies to build up your critical modifier Otherwise, you end up in this weird situation where, like, yeah, sure, your criticals are awesome, but you never have them. When you need them, you'll have them at random points. So there's no rifle up here. Oh, shit. Oh, that could have been bad. All right, we're going to go ahead and save here. Throw down a quick save. Oh! Oh, I think we're dead. I don't know if...
Where is he going? Oh, we need to reload. So we're gonna go ahead and take a shot at them. Sorry, my dog and cat are fighting and it's really distracting here. One second. All right, I'm back. All right, let's see. So this is funny. The, this uh, these ghouls. I'm pretty sure like a roaming group because I've seen them other places before. I've never seen them over here though. So they must be like a wandering like horde kind of thing, which is a cool idea. I don't see anything. I think we're okay. Yeah, got him. That went way better than I thought. Good thing that truck was there. I don't think I would have been able to like fight them off normally otherwise. Alright, how long has this been going on for? 23 minutes? Okay, we'll play a little bit longer here. And then we'll Come call on, it... Help. Good. Um, let's see here. It's a dangerous area. There's a lot of things in this area just in general. <laughs> What's that? Like super mutants, for instance. What? Who's there? So we're just gonna hope that I can sneak through oh, no, here. Yeah. Must have been nothing. I'm just gonna try and go. Uh, mostly because this is also a spot for raiders. Like right there. Uh, speaking of, there's one right there. <laughs> Fuck. Hearing shit. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and hope that this kills him. Critical of the head. Now it's on. Alright, we're just gonna run. Take their stuff and run. That's all we're doing. Call it good. Oh fuck, and there's Meyer lurks here. Well, you know what? We're just gonna have to keep going. And hope the Meyer lurk doesn't catch us. You know what? We're gonna go through here. Hopefully, the Meyer lurk can't fit through here. Oh, actually, are we actually right next to Bunker Hill? We might be. Yes, Bunker Hill. Alright. We found a safe place to end our session. So this is Bunker Hill. This is one of the cooler like safe house areas. Like you can eventually build here, but I think I don't know whose missions. I think it's like a Caravan or raider? Just me. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Yay! All right. So we got a level up and a safe place to go. So we are going to take advantage of the level up now before I log off because I'm going to forget otherwise. Um, we can't take the next level of riflemen for a while so what I might do is take... so ninja is the only one I'm missing of the normal perks that I need. Oh I need this one too. Better criticals. But I think because we're using pistols a lot I think I'm going to go ahead and go with gunslinger too. So pistols do more damage. So my pistol normally does... let's see... I, what, what the hell one do I use? Right there. Nope, I lied. Right there. 17. So 17 normally. Now let's see what it does. 20. So yeah, that's a that's a decent increase. Alright, but we are going to end the episode here. We're going to go ahead and do a save. I want to thank all of you for watching. If you liked the episode, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.